I guess people mostly know us as A&B. I've lived in London for about two years now. I've lived in London all my life. I think London's an amazing city. There's so much kind of opportunity out there that you just don't get in other cities. Like it's hard not to be inspired by just walking down the street. street art around, like there's so many good artists who live here and constantly produce work here. There's a lot of, of local councils that are kind of embracing it a little bit more. Um, places like Brick Lane are just a kind of haven for street art. Uh, in the moment we're just putting together ideas, kind of mixing our kind of traditional realistic style in with uh, elements of, of the what. I think this is going to be quite a challenging piece. It's quite, it's quite technical, isn't it? Like, me and A work really closely together, we've kind of developed a, a style where we're kind of in sync with each other. I would say our in-house style is, uh, is pretty photorealism and, and specifically portraits. As a duo, that's probably what we're most known for. I think me and B work really well as a team. Like, our ideas and styles kind of really complement each other. It's quite a rare thing in graffiti to work as a duo, there's not many people that do it. Um, I think people probably get too annoyed with other people, like graphs are very ego-driven pursuit. We always like to push ourselves further, like each painting that we do, we're kind of trying to beat the last painting that we painted. And, it's always that constant um, goal for perfection. In the 90s there was a real specific London style where people were, were using, were doing a lot of letter pieces um, with cracks and shines and that was kind of what London became known for. I think over the past maybe five to ten years that's kind of evolved into a lot more um, kind of just more wide variety of styles. I'm, I'm really happy with this piece. Yeah, I think it came out. I think it came out well.